Before I start, um, can I just say, because I recently saw Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, in some of the fight scenes, did anyone else think of, like, a kick-ass quick time sequence? Like, j just me. Just one of them, we or not. Uh, I guess respond in the comments below. But, uh, hey guys, Nate here. Welcome back to some more Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode, we finished the Dead Money DLC. And, uh, I'm back over here because I missed something. I knew there was a thing I needed, but I thought it was the holotape that I picked up on the way out of the Sierra Madre. It was not. It's actually something that's in here. And there's also... This also refills every three days, which is nice. I can't open that again. This is the room that I opened before. I got scared half to death. Um, oh. There's two of them. I'll still take that. Cause only only a little while ago that I realized that uh this hat oh, really now you wanna make yourself a mod on automatic rifle? Why was that not like it before? That should have been I couldn't I couldn't add it to my automatic rifle, so therefore I didn't use it. Okay, that makes sense. Um Sorry about that, excuse me. Um but this is where Father Elijah, excuse me again, this is where Father Elijah uh, camped out. I found that out afterwards, after I actually looked at the place. So, the thing that I need is on this terminal right here. Science Entry 112. I've started analyzing samples of the cloud that surrounds the Sierra Madre. Preliminary results are promising. I need to perform a proper atmospheric analysis that requires I travel there directly. Still. The sample I've collected in my chemistry set is enough to keep my experiments running. The cloud residue replenishes slowly, and I have to limit the growth, the gathering, of samples to its rate of growth, allowing me to restock once per day. That's the thing I need, but I'm going to read this. Dear Mr. Elijah, congratulations on winning luck at the Sierra Madre Casino. We have set up your payment of Sierra Madre chips to be automatically delivered at your drop box you specified every three days. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed your stay. Sincerely, the Sierra Madre Man Management. Now, I read those two things before recording, but uh, this is the thing I missed. I need this. And I give that to Veronica. Because I'm a good person. I need to read what it says for. Wait, if I read what it, if I read what it says, I'm gonna do that stupid thing that I did in the Sierra Madre. I'll just say just in case, because I decided I wanted to read everything, and I got locked in the vault for it. The hollow message is locked. A label on the front reads for Veronica. A strain sensor mounted on the back seems to be tied to the locking mechanism. Hmm. Okay. I guess I am heading for Veronica then. Okay, wait. Alright. Because I... <laughs> For some reason, I was... I, it's, I know it's really dark, but I was walking around Novak, and I tried to aim this gun, and the game would freeze every time I tried to aim it. It wouldn't CTD, but it just it would just, like, stop. Let me put my message... this message? Uh... Gun away. I think she's at the lucky 38. But I have to go through that... A whole loading screen bollocks at bollocks at a uh, free side first. Is there a mod that lets you, uh, because I've been downloading a lot of miscellaneous mods for Skyrim? I played a few minutes ago, but I actually, uh, I seem to have broken some things in the Ragged Flag, and like, uh, Tanilia's eyebrows are a black rectangle. Um, Veckel's clothes are purple and so are Vex's. All the particle effects in there are black squares. Like, I have no idea what I did in there. And the Temple of Mara, the planters are purple. <laughs> I don't know what I did. All I know is, like, the least broken game I have in my Steam Lights library. Gorgeous. Jesus Christ. For some reason, this EMB just makes everything so- I can't see. I can't see. You probably can't see either. But for some reason, this EMB that I have on, because I have like two on, um, makes everything, 
like in, in between night and day, it becomes like the darkest thing ever. And Pip-Boy light does not help at all. It's, okay, wait, now it's off, okay. Not that, not that, not that. I wanna go upstairs. Excuse me. Um, four seconds, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly, this is like, this is like the game with like, while Skyrim has good graphics, like, uh, this is like the least broken game. Like no, no one's clothes are purple or anything. For some reason, everyone's just here. I have no idea why. Hey. Hey, boom. Everyone's here. I don't know why. Everyone's just like here. I dismissed them and everyone's there. Ooh. What's up? I found Elijah. You did? Where? Oh my god. I mean, uh, I, I thought... I don't even know what I thought might have happened to him. But you don't have a this is good news expression on your face. <sighs> He's dead. It doesn't matter. He died when we all retreated to Hidden Valley. I didn't expect to see him again. No one did. Did he say anything when you met him? Anything... Anything at all? There's something I wanted to pass along. Where did you get this? Guess I was right about the bad news, huh? Same look Elder McNamara always gave me when I was up for promotion. Um... They... Don't be a dick, me. You should watch it, it's a message. This, the news is up to you. Alright. I'll watch it. That was... That was hard to watch. Did it make any sense? The parts I understood? Didn't matter. Past all the garbage. All it amounted to was goodbye. Sorry. Feel a little out of it. Head spinning a bit. Oh. Oh! I think he left me a gift. Maybe I can use it better than he did. Veronica has received the Elijah's Last Words perk. She has learned a secret melee weapon technique that increases her attack speed by 150% and gives her a 25% chance to knock down enemies. Okay. See you around. Okay. Now, actually. What's up? Come with me. Let's go make trouble. I forgot. See you around. Okay. Before, because I get weird lag in here, so I'm gonna go before the game crashes. At least broken out of all my games. Just saying. And there's music playing everywhere. Now, there's probably another place I can go. Should I start Old War Blues this episode? I mean, all I was really planning to do was go to Veronica and give her the uh, Holland message, but it's only been like eight minutes. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Mojave Drive-In? Do I do it now? Do I not? I prefer Honest Hearts, but honestly... Uh, I just got back to the lobby. I want to hunt things with my YCS slash 186. Oh my god. No, really, I, I missed the Mojave. I want to stay here, but I know I have to finish the DLCs and eventually finish the game. And once you finish the game, it it's a definitive ending. Of course, it lets you get a mod that lets you go past the screen. And I also don't know if my game's going to crash because... I have a mod that raises the cap past level 50. I don't really plan on going to like level 100, but that's just what the thing is. <sighs> okay, before I think about it anymore, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, right? Episode can't be that short, or else it's gonna be a bonus footage. <sighs> I am going to regret this. I really, like I said it in the ending of Dead Money, I really hope that this doesn't, um, to, <sighs> you two wait here. Okay, I'll be right here, waiting. 
For you. Every time. I always feel bad when I make her wait. Should have brought something to read. Okay. <sighs> wait. I gotta wait anyway. Okay. Uh, midnight, right? I forgot to wait till nighttime. That's why that giant weird eye wasn't appearing there. The burned man walks. Joshua Graham lives. You know the weird thing about the way the DLC is? If there's a definitive ending to Fallout New Vegas, then why is Lonesome Road the second ending? Because that's essentially what Lonesome Road is. It's the second ending to Fallout New Vegas. Makes it's makes the courier's story come full circle, right? I've been to every location. I think I might have missed something, but you know, there's that whole thing about um, finding out your past or where you come from. Shoulder mounted weapon. Um, that's uh, those are Gunrunner's arsenal things. Those are kill challenges, damage challenges, and another challenge. Um, Dead Man's Hand, that's... Do Wait, what's Dog Run 1? A lot of those things might just be... Uh, discover all the locations in the divide. Yeah, those are things like that. Hack Supreme, he moves in mysterious ways. Oh, Mysterious Stranger. Complete Lonesome, Ro Lonesome Road, that's a achievement. Klein Destin, dressed in a complete set of Dr. Klein's clothes. Who's Dr. Klein? That's dead money, but I only destroyed Dean. Big MT, that's where I'm about to go. Had an experiment go horribly awry. Oh, God. Make, made up your mind about your brain. Um... I, I don't... No, I don't even know what, uh... It's like the hardest place in the game, right? The Courier's Mile? If, I, if I'm correct. I discovered all about Ulysses' past. That's another thing. Understand, they're like six things, but um, I don't even know what it means about making your mind up about your heart while making your mind up about your brain. <sighs> the crash satellite seems to be the source of the strange transmission you received. Old World Blues is recommended for experienced couriers, level 15%, lift 15%, level 15 plus. You have a premonition that while you'll be unable to return to the Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the Big Empty... Yeah, they really hyped up uh, Lonesome Road, didn't they? You have a premonition that while you'll be unable to return to the Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the Big Empty... Wait, Big Empty or Big Empty? You will be able you will be able to take anything you can carry with you, and you will be able to return to the Big Empty any time after cleaning Old World Blues. That sounds like I had a premonition about... Like, my courier was in uh, the Obsidian Studios. If you're up to the challenge, and you have all you want to carry with you, examine the satellite a little closer. The atomic wonders of science await. Fine. Jesus Christ. Well, I should go back to 188 train post, though. Um... Fallout New Vegas. Old World Blues. Did I get arrested? In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, 
fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the dome. A huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. For years, the mines and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. I love storytelling. So, um, did the satellite shrink me? Or is the big MT actually just the big empty? You feel strangely heavier. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. Welcome to the big empty. Jesus. Where am I? Why is my butt showing? <laughs> Hello? I need to find clothes. Oh wait. I feel strangely heavier, but I have stuff, so can I put... I won't put on, like, my stuff, but I'll put on the- no, give me back. The grip- Jesus Christ. <laughs> Smashing start. Put it on, I mean. Oh, God. Um... It's- at least it's a bigger plate. Wait. Did anyone else see that? Ulysses' point. Ulysses' point. This guy's been everywhere. Okay, um, I'm getting distracted. Put on clothes. Now, where's everything? Do I just go down? I guess so.
Personality files damaged or missing. Insert backup holotape to restore files. Hmm. I have stuff here. Apparently. But how, where's my quest? It's a greenhouse. Think tank or big MT. Big empty. Okay, I gotta stop, start saying big em empty. Jeez. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over you, and you can and you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Am I being mind controlled? What is this music that's playing? And here are the old world scientists. I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. All right, shh. Nobody move. I'll handle this. Um. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We! Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, H? Can you quiet down? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. A is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now, now, great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Um, how are you all speaking through that one voice box? I was at a theater, then I was here. What is this place? Are you the ones who performed the surgery on me? No, to cut your speech off. Is there something coming in on that? Not to cut your speech off, there's something coming in in on that big monitor. I don't, I don't give a crap what you have to say. Tell me why you hold me here now. Did... did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. Oh, hell no. It's a lobotomite! Here, in the dome! Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites! Dala! Get the spray before it excretes all over everything. Don't you spray me. Lobotomite? Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to, the skin envelope once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it, the way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. Do you see my hair? I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. <laughs> and... are those... penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. No! I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. <laughs> Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. <laughs> I don't recall a human penis ever being that large. What? It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. <laughs> How do I respond? Um <laughs> Hold up one finger, point itself, point at them, hold up five fingers, wave hands and nod. Listen, I wanna know how I got here and how to I get home. I'm seconds away from smashing your monitors. <laughs> It's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. 
<laughs> if it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Oh my god. Dr. Klein, wait. I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! I can't comprehend that. Ace, have you been in the Mentats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual, Lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? I've been speaking. Yes, I'm guessing that crash satellite was yours. Who are you all and what is this place? Why do I feel passive? I should be angry, real angry, and I'm not. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? You're old world scientist, you should Our know what speech efforts is. Have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. Oh my god. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin envelope with awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. What are you talking about? Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us. Then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last, a chance to... What is that? Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain. Big fools, all of you. What is happening? It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone. A zone that is, yes, forbidden to you! Everyone's yelling. with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the big mountain research centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank! Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Mobius. Always the same. I need a second. I need a second. <laughs> What's happening? They're all old world scientists, but they can't understand what I'm saying. They, th they think I have little penises on my feet. They think I have little penises where my, where my toes are. What? They're not penises, they're toes. They're, they're digits. <laughs> I assure you I have no penises on my, <laughs> on my toe regions. <laughs> What's happening? Everyone's yelling at me. Like the loudest my game has ever been. Oh god. It's gonna be fun to edit. Aim broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever. Returned! Except Dr. Mobius, and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. Oh my god. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? Hey, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. I've been on the but what of its brain? 
We scooped that out. I'm talking. We don't even know where we left it. Are you? And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. So why did you take it yes, out? Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. I can hear you. You remove my brain? Lobotomizing? You lobotomize me? Is that why I feel so odd and heavy? All these answers are going to get <laughs> mixed up an argument with each other. What would I say? Yeah. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. So it is actually Big Mountain. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. What? Brainless, Perk. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction, plus 25% resistance. And shock from bodily damage, plus 5% damage threshold, minimum plus 1. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would, like, God give us and take it away, perk. Yeah, Eight, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh... The Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. <clears throat> that doesn't explain the laser sir. Love my character smarter than me. That doesn't explain the laser search sutters searchers on my chest and on my spine. How much surgery did you put on me? I feel like a badly put together jigsaw puzzle. Why am I all cut up? I feel like some kid was playing with my insides. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although, in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Everyone keeps taking Once me and removed the brain and doing I things to my body. It, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. What? Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. <gasps> Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. Give me my stuff back. First was the heart. Um. So when I realize that these things were gone, I get perks. The scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned, and filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items, chems, to function at a higher level, plus 25%. Robots are now confused by you, and 50% less likely to score a critical hit. These are actually good perks. But I want my I want my organs back. Oh wait, I mean second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. How am I walking? Spineless perk. Due to complications with the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. <laughs> Are you got do you guys have a PhD at all? Your torso can no longer be crippled and your strength and damage threshold have been increased by one. Huh. I still want all my organs back. And my central nervous system. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. I need that. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You took out my brain, heart, and spine. You extracted my brain. 
But what do you mean misplaced it? If you ripped up my brain, where the hell is it? To be correct, you should say the auto dock took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. Because you haven't seen humans in 200 years. It worked so hard on your surgery. It destroyed his own memory. How odd. I bet your brain remembers what happened. This is so ducked. That auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. So why'd you put After me in that, it? The brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Jesus. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush. That is the sound of flushing. Why the Fisher of Rolando? Enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite. Listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. You have your brains. We want you to stop him. Somehow. With science. I have energy weapons. But you have your brain. And apparently four other personalities. But you have your brain. It's in that... Think tank on your head. You said something about needing technology to stop Mobius. First you skip on my brain. Now you want me to save you? You said something about needing technology to stop Mobius. Yes. It is our only chance. A desperate plan that came to us after Mobius' first broadcast. Maybe, just maybe, if we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. What exactly is the plan? You're losing me in the generalities. I need specifics. Why me? Can't you do it? I'll help. What do you need me to do? Forget this, I'm not going to help you. The plan is very complicated. We are still calculating how it would work if it succeeded. That is our part of the plan. I'll help. What do you need me to do? Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Hit boy right? Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... To what? They, well, move sometimes, or get buried, or blow up. What? Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. This whole place sounds dangerous. These devices sound dangerous. What are these technologies? If you don't tell me what I need to find, I can't help you, alright? What are these technologies? The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array, used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit, a suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And 8's sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun, able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal. Uh, by our standards. 
If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. I didn't pay attention after after that because I was trying to control the volume. The faster I can get through this, the better. Trust me, I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. What if I take my time, explore the crater? What illogic is this? Keep your filthy penis-tipped feet out of our labs and secrets! There are things here no lobotomite was meant to see. Things that would astound and possibly terrify. Terrify! Yeah, we don't come into your lab and decant your solutions. Only the magnificence of our monitors allow for true comprehension of the wonders of Big Mountain. Shield your jellied eyes lest they burn from your skull. I just want to explore. Doesn't sound like my style, maybe I'll do a little exploring. Then can you help me get this done as quickly as possible? Sounds like a lot of walking. Guess I better get walking then. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. Stop saying that. <laughs> Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little tank you bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly, yeah, directly. <laughs> pylons? What pylons? Is a perimeter? That sounds suspiciously like I can't leave. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Oh. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. I guess that. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Yay. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. Give me a second. Alright. Hello. Alright. Making sure it was on. So I can't leave. Why can't you go out there and shut them down? Uh, great. I don't want to hear any more about that. So I can't leave? Oh. Uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein, if I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. <laughs> well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> what is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You've already made that You're person. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. Jesus. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module. If you have the gun already, I don't understand what you need. For the love of... Please, stop fighting. If there's a weapon you can give me, hand it over. I'll put it to good use. It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, <laughs> then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X-8. Just as X-8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. My youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletale and all the kids you hated, you little teacher's pet brown hound. Jeez. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded?
Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. No, stop. Uh, stop. Ding. Turkey's done. I don't want it. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. I don't want it either. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Thank you. Never mind. All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate code spew from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. Energy cells have a high exponential rate. Some extra reserve cells could offset that. This sonic gun looks like an energy projectile. Got anything that spits lead? What were you saying about force field disruption? This thing is pretty cool. I've, it's got a little sound wave thing on the back. Hmm, yes, I believe Watt's electronics tended to make the battery shelf life on the low end. They certainly did. Batteries for my vibe. Vivisectors what? Would always come up short right before a climax. Stop! I think Watts manufactured hollow discs, or was it hollow tapes? Never can keep those too straight. Anyway, we're out of small energy cells. Dala, you have some. Why do we? Actually, never mind. I don't even want to know. And no, I don't want to handle your batteries. Just pass them on to the lobotomite yourself. Okay. That one sounds like a little bit of, um... the Just a little, little, little bit too horny. Uh, so these will work in the sonic emitter. Uh, these things have been sterilized too, right? The sonic emitter should be sterilized and more than enough for you to encircle your warm hands around, cradling it gently with your finger muscles. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving forward or backward. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. When some of us lost our access passes, Dr. O... <laughs> that only happened once! And I know you were behind stealth fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. Dr. O, you rewind that comment. I said stop Plenty fighting. Of rewinding already going on in your formography tapes! Surprise the things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. Wait, so this gun you gave me can dis disable force shields? This can only work on fields here in the crater? Yes. Maybe. <sighs> well, no, not currently. You suck! Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of his stupid labs, or inside one of his stupid pets. Oh my god. It is lost. All questions lead to this conclusion. The blue fields within Big Mountain shall be fielded with force forever. I could care less about all this. Can I go? Uh, great. I don't want to hear any more about that. Can you please hurry? I've got a schedule. If there's nothing more, I need to stop Morbius. Mobius. Um, yeah. Fine, so, yes, get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. I'll head out then and be back with these things. I'll be trying not to tamper with anything, I promise. I'll go get these technology wonders, technological wonders and see how much damage I can do. Well, good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Wait. 
is it leaving? But it ought to climb. The lobotomite will need rest, recuperation, things like that. I volunteer my chambers so it might be stared at. My monitor radar slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We could give it Mobius' old room. That's where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. Uh, yes. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. Eight says, let the lobotomite take the Sing Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there. With my teddy bears. Your other humans? And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free has swayed me. Here, I present the Sync Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. What do you mean? I can trade with the sink intelligence, then I'll need something to activate that function, won't I? This chip looks like it was mass produced. Are there other chips? So just plug into this circular map thing in the sink upstairs? Alright, having a store available would be helpful. It has a store connection, right? I cannot dispute your logic. Do we have objects to activate the chip's exchange routines? What? Like... stuff? Things? Yes. Yes. Things. I don't know. Might be some old Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's not currency, per se. It is. Still might be enough to trade the thing's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. I don't believe that was Mobius's reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive and of high decibel. Enough! Surrender these so-called bottle caps, <laughs> Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid chip chokes on them. This amount clearly represents a deficiency in the amount of caps needed. Again, your logic is unassailable in its simplistic need. Oh? Fine. It's not going to help. That chip will probably refuse them anyway, as stuck up as it is. I hate to come back and ask for more. A little extra would guarantee you're not disturbed. If I were not as intelligent as I am, I would feel as if perhaps I'm being tricked. You're not. Impossible. Oh, more. You believe me. Why don't you make the lobotomite a bottle cap factory, Klein? Or better yet, give it a ton of things to activate the chip. Hold on. Let's be logical about this. I don't need a ton, just as much as I can carry and trade. Again, the logic of the request is clear. Tonnage is not needed, only adequate weight. Everyone, display your things. Am I clearing them out? I do not understand, yet I am intrigued by this potential display. No, you're gonna tell them, right? No, wait, you don't need to fill up the emitter okay. again, really. I means things for trade. Display for trade. All right, let's consolidate. There's gotta be some junk around here. Magazines, useless, more caps, medicinal supplies, useless. Here. This chip looks like it was mass produced. Are there other chips? Are there other chips? Are you echoing what he said, or are you asking for real? Not a he. He's asking, yes. Dr. Klein, there are many other personalities. If you recall, you hurled them off the sink balcony after your argument with Mobius. It is not an argument if one is clearly right and the other is clearly wrong. I remember now. Yes, Lobotomite. There are other chips. 
If you want, find them. I believe they're stored on hollow tapes in many of our facilities. But you should stay out of those. No exploring and discovering things. The Sink Central Intelligence should be enough for your <laughs> needs. Be that way. So just plugged into the circular map thing in the sick upstairs. Alright, having a store available will be helpful. It has a store connection, right? Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Now go. Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go land your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. That was eventful. I've forgotten what it's like to move, honestly. So I got a lot of things. Pretty sure I don't want to go up there unless I want all of them to attack me at once. I thought they were all talking from the same place, but it's just Dr. Klein, that's why. I guess I didn't want the camera to just like jump from everyone. Um, what are these? Hmm. Um, okay. We're off to a great start. Alright, so I can actually access the elevator now. Um, I got a lot of quests. I heard a lot of quests getting sounds. Let's see. X-13, Attack of the Infiltrator. Travel to the X-13 Research Facility. X-8, High School Horror. Travel to the X-8 Research Center. X-2, Strange Transmissions. Travel to the X-2 Transmitter Antenna Array. Sonic Emitter Upgrade. Travel to the X-8 Research Center to find the force field disrupting EMP pulse wave. Upgrade. Wow. For the Sonic Emitter. All my friends have off switches. Go to the sink and install the Central Intelligence Unit. I guess I can do that. Sonic Emitter Revelation now available in the vendor in interface. Salutations and felicitations, sir. And a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Sir, you are aware that I'm a woman, right? Indubitably, sir. But it is with a great lugubriousness that I must disclose that my program has installed only the masculine honorific, sir. Okay. Moreover, they neglected to enclose a parameter by which said honorific might be omitted altogether. Over my most strenuous of remonstrances, sir. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just a bug again. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. You mean there are other personality modules out there? Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. Why is that? So I can access their functions without loading the personality holotapes. Why are there so many personality modules? So I can access their functions. Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Why are there so many personality modules? As I am given to understand, sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. Okay. Indubitably, sir. What services do you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. 
Any goods Sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. I'd like to buy some things. Very good, sir. And might I venture to opine that a new trilby might be just the thing to complete Sir's ensemble. Oh. The game, like, froze for a good second. Um... What are my actual items? Like, what do I need for these? Do I need 357? No, I don't. I just get a lot of stuff. <laughs> Dead money really helped me out. Um... Yeah, why not? I'm trying to get out of, like, the Fallout... My Fallout 4 sense and, like... Um... J ooh. Ballistic fist chromed barrels. But, like, I'm, I'm trying not to... Um... Buy everything. I already have a patient gown. Plasma caster HS electrode. Plasma pistol thickened chamber casing. I think I'm fine with the stuff that I have. No one sells missiles. They all sell rockets. I think that's for something in Lonesome Road. Um... Wait. It's not committed a revelation. Oh, wait. Do I already have that? I already have the reinforced frame for that, right? I don't have this, but it's not as a mod. So I don't want to get it, and then it's just, like, not a mod anymore. Um... This sonic emitter, I already have it. Okay. It's doing a weird thing with the scripts, and it's like it keeps uh, moving ever so slightly if I have to put these in my house. It's fine. Uh, I, pre I pressed X, right? Yeah. Okay, that was weird. Alright, there's a greenhouse. That's big MT access. A most rapturous good morrow on your return to your domicile, sir. I trust you shall find things in order and the riffraff contained. Alright. Um, where is... Oh. There's cool things in here. Oh, what does this do? I think it's just here. Unfortunately. There's a lot of just stuff here, isn't there? Um, there's probably a bed somewhere. Oh, hey, I'm missing three. One from here. Wait, I didn't even get that yet. What are you talking about? There's like two that I'm missing. Mormon Ford the strip. Wait, okay, one, two, three, f four. Five, uh, six. I should have a seventh one there. Uh, that's weird, but it's fine. Um, yeah, that makes sense. What are my scripts doing? Am I like running out? Of <laughs> I think the episodes run so long, I run almost run out of space. So I'll uh, I'll find the bed in the next episode. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to have to do this before my computer probably dies. Uh, like the video if you did. If you did, if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe for more from Games on Diesel Mode. And I'll see you in the next episode. Go shows.